Another station or another skill that the kids have to know before they leave fifth grade is they have to be able to um, add and subtract. So the skill says that they will use addition and subtraction to solve problems involving whole numbers and decimals. Okay, so we spent $200 on two items. How much was spent on the CD, if you know how much the camera was? So they have to know that that's a subtraction problem and to line those, to know where the decimal point goes in a whole number and add those zeros at the end of that. That's sometimes what they get hung up on is subtraction with zeros. Um, but they, the addition and subtraction, usually they come to us knowing that. It's just knowing how to solve the problems and the decimals when we add that into there. They get kind of confused with that. So we work a lot of this at the beginning of the year. Um, another uh, um, skill that they have to know is they have to be able to multiply up to a three-digit number times a two-digit number. And we teach them 326 times 45, and we teach them to multiply 5 times 6, 5 times 2, and then 5 times 3, and then bring a zero down because you're done with that ones place, and then 4 times 6, 4 times 2, and 4 times 3, and then you add them up. Um, in a problem-solving situation, they have to be able to do that. Okay, also in a problem solving situation, they have to be able to divide and find the quotient just using the regular division method that we do. Any method that they can use to get the right answer on division, though, is, is pretty good. So we teach them, we only go up to three digit divided by two digit, but it's all the same. In fifth grade, though, they do have a remainder. We don't add a decimal and add more zeros and continue to divide, though, but they have to get to this point and realize what the remainder is. And talking about a remainder, they have to be able to interpret that remainder when solving the problems in division. So they have to read the question to figure out what, the, what it's asking about that remainder. Do I need to add one more so that I have an advance to carry all the kids? Or is that one not necessary and I could drop that one? They have to be able to know what that remainder does and what it's talking about. So there are so many stations that we could talk about on problem solving. Um, I, we just put out a couple there, a couple of games that we play with them, um, or that they play in stations. This is mathematics and everyday situation about money doesn't grow on trees. And they have to answer questions, um, problem solving questions, and they have to be able to just understand the vocabulary of mathematics in order to play this game. Um, another one that we do is called Video Rewind, and this is actually where you're kind of given the answer and you have to work it backwards to solve for something that would have been at the beginning of a problem. Um, this is a fun game that they like to play. Same thing, game boards, you roll if you get it right and you go that many spaces. Another thing that we might do with them in fifth grade is called a scavenger hunt. And we do this a lot when we do stations where they will have a worksheet or a blank sheet to, to work their problems out and put their answers on. And then we post cards around the room for them to go around and find the problems to answer. And they work, they get the problem and they work it out and they put it on their answer sheet. And that's how we um, grade those is through the answer sheet. We also have a game um, relating informal language to mathematical language. Um, it's just more problem solving. Where vocabulary is so important in fifth grade and with the problem solving that we have to do. It's so much more intense. Sometimes they may have to add, then add, and then subtract. They may have to multiply and then add and then subtract. So there, there, there may be up to three and four step problems that they've got to do. They've got to be able to understand what it's asking for them to do that. So there's just a few things at that station if you want to play a game, a real quick game, or just look at some of the questions that we ask them. Thank you.